My mom is a Grau. Okay. Um, but okay. Yeah, her her dad um, was Harold Grau Sr., and he was the one who, you know, really got everything off the ground. Like I said, left the city and came to Cape St. Clair when it was just a little teeny cottage beached summer town, um, you know, and, and that was in the early 50s. And, and he had the vision to, you know, build a store from scratch and, and start start out there so anyway. the people that own this store was Charlie and Liz Clark um, they were really good friends with my oldest uncle Harold jr. they were really good friends with um, my grandparents they traveled together through uh, food dealers Maryland Food Dealers Association they always went places you know they, they would always have trips through the warehouse and they would participate in those and um, they were just you know family friend family grocers and family friends um, you know I was ready to leave Annapolis I didn't have any interest in being in Annapolis anymore I was done with the traffic I was done with the bridges I was done with all the things that, that people don't understand when you do that for 20 years or whatever you know I just I had enough of that and I didn't have any more interest in dealing with that um, you know the clientele of people over there is totally different than here you know the people over here are loyal. Um, they support local businesses. You know they're they're like your friends. They walk in the store and they know you by their you know, your first name. And you know it's it's just a very close knit small town. You know home homey feel. So having a small family run business, you know people see Paige or I every day in here. Um, you know and I think that means something. For the employees and for the customers. The Eastern Shore creates its own level of uh, difficulty with getting products here as well because some of the vendors that we deal with in St. Michael's don't come across the bridge every week. Sometimes it's only every other week and sometimes it's not at all. Yeah. So we still have, Paige more than I, still has our weekly trips to Annapolis or Cape St. Clair Grouse to pick up honey baked hams or uh, Baltimore Dog Bakery biscuits, or you know, et cetera, et cetera. The okay. items that people just that you know, it's not worth coming over here for our one store. Yeah. So we drive on over and pick it up. <laughs> you know, we try to focus on our perishables. We try to focus on having a variety of grocery, um, both specialty and regular that. Um, that other people can't get at other locations. Um, you know, a lot of the big big box stores or a lot of the, you know, the Walmarts and stuff like that will only have a certain variety or, you know, a certain range of products where we try to cover, you know, you'll have the one lady who wants plum sauce in June and she knows she can go to Growl's and get plum sauce in June. You know, anytime that competition comes to town, you, uh, you know, you have to be aware of it and, uh, you need to, uh, you know, you need to react and, um, you know that's something that obviously we as as we hear they're coming um, we're trying to to prepare and um, you know everybody does something great everybody does something good so you know what you do is you go into your competition and you say well you know this is something that there's an opportunity for us you know they're not going to do everything great actually I think it has turned around a little bit um, especially here lately and I would say that you know maybe it has something to do with the fuel um, I feel like, you know, since the fuel went down, um, I've definitely seen a little bit of a, um, a release maybe. Yeah. And people seem to be a little bit, I know people are in a lot better mood. Yeah. <laughs>